How's it going, everyone? Session here. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, the Redux Edition. We are back. And to be very honest, we have been on an immense grind. Um, I have been spending a lot of time going over Mai's deck. As you can see, we've been farming a lot of her cards. Uh, she has an extremely powerful engine with Harpy Lady Sisters, as I have learned over the course of playing against her. And I also got extremely lucky versus Joey in a couple of matches. Uh, basically, I took a lot of the cards from Mai's deck and then got myself like a huge Harpy Lady engine running. So I'm kind of shifting out of the Crimson Sunbird deck and now just really running the Harpy deck. Uh, I also found Grave Robber in his field. Turns out there are hidden cards across the map, which I honestly have never noticed until... Uh, I actually got Grave Robber from Joey's, and then I tried going around everybody else's uh, field. Couldn't easily find all of those hidden cards, but if you just have the deck leader go over a space, then you just magically get like an insanely good card. Mako actually gave me the Heavy Storm card in my second match against him, which was insane actually. But you can't use the card, the card just goes in your deck, but when I reincarnated it, uh, I reincarnated Heavy Storm, and it gave me a Blue Eyes, which was insane. And then I also reincarnated uh, one of the pet dragons that I got from Mai as well. And she gave me the card I've been looking for for so long. And I think now I'm entering that world where like I'm kind of sort of untouchable. And then... Um, I actually did another reincarnation, got another Blue Eyes, which is insane, actually. Um, then I got a, another reincarnation, reincarnated a bl that Blue Eyes, and then it gave me a, a very good safety card. So I'm hoping it'll come into use, because uh, honestly, I'll, I'll tell you now, a lot of the um, duelists have a lot of uh, life point gain and like steel cards, so... We will see how it plays out for me against this one. Because uh, I'm pretty sure this person has a... Well, not technically speaking, right, because it was before. They had a crush field separated with four zones. So it was like forest, water, dark, and like wasteland. And periodically they had like a thunder, a uh, tremendous fire that they would hit me with. So I don't know. But we'll see, because this person also had the Millennium Golem, so I don't know what to expect card-wise from them as well. So we'll see what it is like going up against Shadi. I don't really know what to expect, but we... The the one thing I've learned about this Redux version of the game is that you actually have to grind. And I wait a second. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. All forest? No crush? Some water. Oh yeah, I got Royal Decree also in a uh, with the Blue Eyes reincarnation. I totally forgot about that, which is gonna be extremely helpful for me as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm gonna put that down for now because that card is the best card I can possibly pull out of the deck right away. What is that? Oh, Vermilion Sparrow. What? Wait, hold on. You you can't have this many effects. What? Uh, I guess I can't read. Support range, increased strength, weaken specific. We can spell by and destroy specific cards. Okay. I don't know what that. I have no idea what that's going to do to me, though. Let's see. So I think right now, with what I've just been gathering, what are you just doing? Some mantra? Oh, is Vermilion Sparrow Pyro? Oh, he has Pyro cards. Wait, this is kind of a big deal. Um, because they are good in the forest, but they're bad in the water. They're very bad in the water. Uh, okay. So yeah, I, I have two extremely good contingency cards. And I actually, I had the Gate Guardian. I actually pulled that out of my deck. Because I really have been concentrating on a very particular style of I'm gonna do this. A very particular style of cards. 
Like, because I have gotten so many duel and cards from my... Like, my card deck right now heavily prioritizes Mountain like crazy. I have a lot of Mountain cards. Okay, that's good. That card is so derpy, I love it. <laughs> uh, I want to... Just in case there's like a magic jammer or some kind of way to like block... Oh, I guess it wouldn't matter because... Okay. Never mind, I take it back last I'm actually... That's, that's, that's like a free discard card. That card is good because it flips up card monsters that are... I was attacking below. And that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. But it's it's a it's a good wing beast monster if I can fuse it to make like a Nablus or a Crimson Sunbird, but I don't really use it for that reason. I just kinda of throw it away in the deck. I think I also have Fate Trap in the wait, what in the world? I okay, hold on. <laughs> I have Fate Trap and I throw that card out as well, just kinda of go through my deck a little faster. Face card wall to the That thing has thirty seven hundred attack. How? I didn't even see it. No, he didn't even fuse that card. How does that card have 3,700? It's plus 15. Okay, so 500 from the forest. There's no way that you give this card a thousand extra points. That's kind of nuts, actually. Oh, because his own card. Oh, he increases 500. He gets 500 from the field, and then the power... Okay, so basically, if they're in... Ooh, we are going to be in trouble. Okay. He, if you get in proximity of his death leader, monsters go by 1,500. Okay, so we're correct. He has pyro monsters. I might need to go and go back against Mako, because Mako has a bunch of... He drops... Umi, like a lot. So Umi would be incredibly helpful uh, versus this guy, considering that he's mostly pyro. But... Because um... I can't even curse break. In order for me to effectively get rid of his cards in any capacity, I have to fight them away from the deck leader. Or I muster up 4,000 attack in the forest to destroy that car, which is going to be insanely tricky. Uh, hmm. The card in front's a curse breaker, and the card behind that's a menu number. But that card is going to be terrible for me. And Because it's really hard to utilize the water side since I don't have much space for it. Oh, it's a creep. He just used a trap card on me. Oh, wait. Block attack isn't going to work because of the... Okay, there's the tremendous fire. Okay, never mind. I have block attack down. That's why that that whole thing happens. Ooh, there's Harpy. Um, okay, he shot me with the, the Tremendous Fire. I'm going to just get, like, technically plus 500 back. Uh, I'm going to let him destroy that. I'm gonna try and use this opportunity to bring the wing piece over to the other side. And then we put this card face down. Yeah. That's okay, that's gonna be a really obnoxious thing to do for like a while. 
He wants to put that card in defense mode. Isn't that 200? Oh, he has a bunch of life point cards. Wait, this is nuts actually. I don't really... My trap cards also won't work against him. So I'll have to hold on to my trap cards until other ones. I'm really... Oh, I shouldn't have put the card into... Uh... stuck in this corner actually I just realized so I can't I cannot afford to do I just give her the roll to create yeah, I might take her the roll to create I'm trying to think about what possible is what I need to unless I bring this card out and like let it get destroyed by whatever's out here but that's plus 1500 at least or plus a thousand rather uh, yeah, because these cards are probably not stronger than this card if it was in the water. Okay, so then... Man, I like... Okay, I just have to get rid of it. I need to try to make space for something. Uh, space for space Um, On the bright side, though, we know for certain... I need to try and push with my dragon. We know for certain that he doesn't... What is this? Oh, is it a sunbird? Okay. I, I wasn't supposed to do that. I wanted to get rid of the Wicked Flame and, like, keep Birdface. Because Birdface is great with my sunbird cards. What I'm going to need to do is try to replace the current sunbird out with something that I can actually um, I'm actually going to do this. Oh, it's going to make a punch evil. Oh, no. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so dumb. I believe said I meant Harpy said dragon. Okay. I needed to make a dragon. Yeah. Most likely, I will... Because I don't have bird face anymore, because I got rid of it like a genius, uh, I'll probably try to focus primarily on the Harpy engine. Uh, the curse will not give me too much justice right now, so that's not Okay, cool. Um, let's just get rid of this. And then I'm going to put this down. Oh, I have another Sunbird over here, too. I forgot about that, actually. Okay. And, uh, we jump. Oh, wow, that is... Why is it... No. Isn't that its normal attack point? Wait. I think that card naturally has 1100, no? I feel like I'm... Oh, the water. Wait, that was... Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. I'm so now I'm so sorry. Okay, hopefully you just like attack this dragon and then let me just take the victory. That would be actually fantastic. Thankfully this dragon can take out that I might have to actually look into that. I'm gonna just take out that card. Uh, but I don't want my harmony to get destroyed and then have my like attribute. I feel like because he had Final Flame and... He had Final Flame and Human Fire, I just have the impression he has a lot of more Nightwing cards. It will depend. I'm gonna try and see what my next card is. If it's not... Like a Harpy, then I'll probably just go on the offensive with the front dragon that's open. Because like once they know that the card is flipped over and then they can't beat it, they just don't even run. 
kind of run out. Uh, okay, I'm going to show this. No traps. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to destroy this card. I think the mo I, there's no way that the monster that's to the far right is weak that it can't destroy this dragon card. I, I highly doubt it. He can protect it though, so that's good. I mean, potentially. We should be able to protect it though. I wouldn't expect him to attack the dragon that's way stronger than him in the back. Oh, did you not? Oh. Wait, this is like kind of crazy actually. There's a Hoping I can just out of the remaining cards I have, I have like two more harpies in my deck. I think, right? I've been using them too, so I'm gonna just try to see if I can grab a sisters. That's great information, though. So, what card is this? Dragon Piper. Oh, when it flips up any card that spell down isn't spell what? Okay, I know, I can already tell you now, farming this guy is going to be a nightmare. I don't, I don't win yet. There's, <laughs> there's the perfectly ultimate great moth. Um, so yeah, I, I... I pulled that card. So I got a trip. I think I said that right. I got a triple. It just gave me that card. And that's like my... That is honestly my favorite card in this game. That card gives me so much information and it's so unbelievably powerful. And I usually... Like whenever I go up against Weevil in the base game, I literally farm Weevil until I get the Cocoon Evolution and some kind of a Moth card. So I can transform and make the uh, the perfectly ultimate awesome grimoire. Literally, I prioritize that that first thing every time. Oh, these two cards are spell cards. I have, what, three pet dragons? Moth? Oh, and the Sunbird over here. I already forgot about that card. As you can tell, I literally stopped prioritizing the Crimson Sunbirds, honestly. I'll probably eventually phase those cards out and then try to really center around, like, a Harpy Lady deck. Because I really love... Like, I love that build. That card in front of me is... I think the card that's in between is... I think this is, a, is like a strong spell card. I think that's what my brain is Okay. Uh, do I try to figure it out? Okay. I'd like for, her to, or for him to try to attack me. Goodness that I pulled out the the uncut of the cure master. Oh my gosh, dude. That card is in requirement use right now. Because literally six cards would destroy me. I'd be it'd be over. Um, I 
I, I literally can't afford to lose. Oh, but I can't afford to. Uh, okay, wait. I'm gonna try this one. I, I refuse to get rid of my. Uh, my perfect ultimate gear box. I refuse. It puts me back up to full health, so that's that's good. Justice Earth would have defeated me right there if, I, if they had one, so I'm glad that I just. I'm so okay. Wait, you move that card? That's not. That card's not a monster, that's a spell card. Oh, those two cards over there are also spell cards. Ooh. What is this? You know, tell me so. I haven't seen that card in a in an eternity. It's been so long. I don't even know what that card does. Oh, all spell cards come in just pieces get destroyed. Uh, I can win. I might actually be able to do. Mm. I have to sacrifice this. Unfortunately. Under the impression that he would attack us. If he does attack us, then that's a win in my book. I'm hoping he just attacks. Both of them. Okay. My harpy dragons are going to be very weak compared to what they could potentially be. Uh, let me this card back. Uh, okay. I don't know. I just got to let. I need to wait on the. I gotta hope on the idea that the Cerberus will attack the Harpy face down. One can help. Okay, he's going for the dragon because he knows that's all right. This guy has so many life point cards, dude. Thank goodness that the reincarnation system is like insane because of the potential cards I could be getting from other uh, other duelists. The cards that they give me are actually insane. Oh, you know what I think? I think Scorpius won't attack. Because that dragon here. I need, I need the Scorpius to attack the face on Harpy so I can win. Please. No! Let's take this picture. How many of these cards do we have? Half of his deck has to just be. The problem though is I don't really know what half the cards are if they're not trap cards that are being triggered. I had to say something. I should have just kept my mouth shut and then just not do like. Wait. No. I thought that the card was in range for the mod, but it's not. It's, it's like, yeah. Wait, I, I didn't mean to do that. That's a really big issue. Uh, what he needs. Oh, wait, this will work. No, it. I think I'm done. 
thought I fused the... The Wicked Flame. Oh, I just completely scuffed that. So sad. Okay. So... One second. If I have the... No, I got rid of the, the Pyro card. I don't know the actual name of the card. What does that do? Oh, it didn't trigger traps. Okay. Well, unless he has a card that has more than points in terms of attack power, he has to either move the Muslim Behemoth, or just let me hit him. Oh, you're not going to go over the Muslim Behemoth right now, are you? Checkmate. Whatever you do, checkmate. That's it. It doesn't matter. Super checkmate. Unless you like have a dark hole, that'd be so sad. I'm so sad that I scuffed my run from before. I had a really good opportunity to like cleanly play it out, but because my plan was to make a Crimson Sunbird, we're following, and then just destroy this card. And then continue to let the moth just like remove uh, the points away from all the creatures. This works just as well, though. So I will take that. I'm really this this. I would have never won if I literally didn't grind in this game. Because the cards that they that they have, like the life point card situation thing, is actually insane. I'd be devastated to, to deal with all the life point cards. Ooh. Okay. I'm, I'm, I will take it. I'm not going to complain. I Farming that is going to be very, very difficult. There is a card in this game, however. I don't know what the card is called, but... I know it's a trap card where if I get hit with life points, it just goes back to them. I need to figure out how to get that card. I don't know, though. We'll have to wait and see. Who's next? Oh, is it Grandpa? Oh, I think it's the Grandpa. Oh, his deck cost went up a lot, actually. He was at, like, 10-something, and now he's at over 12.50. Okay. His field was... Meadow on my side, crossover water, through mountain, and wasteland. And he had a labyrinth section separated uh, with just pure dark. And, and his deck has Exodia. It has Exodia. And on top of that, it has nothing but spellbind cards. Like, there's like a, a gravity bind in there, infinite dismissal. He had a dream clown. I remember all of these being so nightmare. He, for me, is... Like, probably the hardest uh, duelist that I'll probably get. Like, I struggle to defeat him in the main game, so even just defeating him in this game is probably going to be insanely hard. So we'll see. I'm really glad I got lucky against Shadi. I'm, I have to figure out how to go back and go get his cards, though, because him having Pyro Monsters is kind of a big deal, since uh, all my Crimson Sunbirds are Pyro Monsters, or Fire Monsters by Element. So I'm going to have to go back and grind him as well, so we'll figure it out. But... Tune in next time, we'll check out Grandpa, and we'll see what he's about. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.